Hey boys and girls, this book is called Trains on the Rails by Jeff Thompson. Trains on the Rails by Jeff Thompson. This is the table of contents and the table of contents gives you a list of subjects or chapters that are in the book and what pages those subjects or chapters are located on. Trains. Trains run on rails along a railroad track. A train has an engine and cars. The engine pulls the cars along behind it. The engine can pull heavy loads. The cars carry people or goods from one place to another. Did you know train engines are sometimes called locomotives? <clears throat> Old steam engines. The first train engines were steam engines. Steam made the engines go. Steam engines were noisy and they blew out a lot of dirty smoke. But people liked steam engines because they could go long distances. Did you know before steam engines, people had to use horses to go long distances? Lots of people still love old steam engines. People who belong to train clubs and museums fix up old engines. Letter to the Morning News. Dear Mr. Green, our town should help the museum fix up the old steam engine. It is part of the town's past. If we fix up the old steam engine, then people can go for a ride on it. They will see what trains used to be like in the old days. Thank you, Jake Hill. Today's trains. Today's trains go much faster than steam engines. They are quieter and cleaner too. The power to make today's trains work come from electricity, diesel fuel, or both. There are lots of trains in big cities. Many of these trains go in long tunnels through hillsides and under the ground. Trains in the city carry lots of people to and from work. Many children go to school by train too. Some people have to stand when there are no seats left in the car. Some trains go from one city to another. These trains have big seats. There is more room to move around inside the cars. Sometimes these trains have a car where people can eat. They have bathrooms too. Sleeper cars. Some trains carry people on very long trips. They go all day and into the night. People can sleep on these trains in sleeper cars. Very fast trains. Some trains are very fast. These are two of the fastest trains. This is the bullet train in Japan and the TGV in France. Diesel engines. Diesel engines can go a long way. If a diesel engine is pulling lots of cars, sometimes more than one engine is used. <clears throat> Freight trains. Some trains carry goods in open or closed cars. They carry animals, cars, food, and many other things. This train is carrying logs. This train is carrying coal. How a train stays on the rails. Train wheels are made to fit the tracks. The wheels on the train are a special shape so they won't come off the rails. Did you know trains do not have steering wheels? Trains only go where the rails go. Monorails. Some places have electric trains called monorails. Monorail trains have only one rail. The rail is very wide. Small wheels on the sides of the train keep the train on the track. Monorails carry people on short or quick trips.
Questions. What is another name for a train engine? Before steam engines, what did people used to go to go long distances? And how are trains steered? And this is the glossary. The glossary uh, is a list of important words that are in the book, and it tells you what their definitions are. And this is an index. The index is a list of important words um, that are in the book, and it tells you what pages each of these words is listed on. This is trains on the rails. I hope you loved it.